Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a word search puzzle for Amazon KDP. But before we go ahead and do it, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Okay, now here we are at BookBall and this is the, we're going to be getting over to the Pro account. Now, if you want to get the Pro account and it makes it a lot easier if you do, and what you can do is you can actually leave a link down below with a product code. Now those two together will give you a $120 a year discount. But we'll get into that a little bit further on in the video. Okay, so what we need to do is go over here to where that little icon is. We'll scroll down here to where it says Puzzle Wiz. We'll click on that. And over here to the left hand side, you'll see where it says Word Search. So all we need to do is click on that. And that will open up this page here. Now we can choose the various sizes here, with or without bleed. We can choose double sided or single sided. We can use how many pages. And I'm thinking um, with this particular one, I might go. We can change the font to say Camboy, which is a nice clean font. And we will do the page count shortly. Now, what we need to do also too while we're here is we need to download this example file right here. So let's click on that. I'm going to put that on my desktop to make it easier for me to find. I'm just going to hit save. And when it's open I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see there are sets of 10 words per section. And there happen to be six slots of 10. So obviously there's 60 words there. So how do we go if we want to expand on that and make it larger? Well, quite simply, we can go to a site called wordplay.com forward slash word dash search dash puzzles. I'll leave a link for this in the description down below so you don't have to worry about trying to find it. Now, what we need to do is I will take you to this section here to start off with. So we'll go over here and which is you'll see this image right here. That's just an image. So what you need to do is click on that actual image there and that will take you to this section here. Now as you can see over here on the left hand side you'll see there are various categories that you can choose from. And as you go through you can choose the various categories and this will allow you to choose which one you want to do. So let's have a look at literature, for example. Click on that one. And that'll bring this one up here. So as we go down, you'll notice that you can't highlight this or do anything with it. So what we need to do is go over here to print. Click on that. And over here, we want to have this open in a new tab. And we want to have a look at it as a PDF. So we click on that. And as you can see, that's now a PDF. And this will then allow us to highlight over the top of all of these words. We might click in clock copy. And now what I want you to do is go over to a notepad somewhere. Open that up. And we'll paste this into a notepad just like that and then we'll need to sort this out into sections of 10. now i know for a fact that there are 30 words here and what we can do is we'll just separate this up into sections of 10. let's pause the video while i do that okay we're back now as you can see they each have sections of 10 there's three lots of 10 there so obviously it's 30. so all we need to do is I made sure I did it in a list style and making sure that there was a gap between every single one of these. So after I did 10, I made a gap. After I did 10, I made a gap. And this way, it did it the way I want to do it. 
So all I need to do is highlight over the top of all these, right click copy or control C. And then we know all we need to do is go over here to our document just here, going down one space, making sure we leave a space and we're at the bottom of the page and then we can go control V, which will then paste everything in here. So as you can see, it's now completed. Now, we can now save this to where we originally had it. So I'm just going to save that now. And when we go back over here to Puzzle Wiz, I always like to make sure I include all of these right here. Include the solutions, match puzzles, solutions and page numbers, as well as page numbers. Now what we need to do is we need to select the file. So by clicking here, we can go down to where we kept the file. And remember, you know, I had it on my desktop, so make sure I've clicked on that. I'll go down to where it says word search. Example, that's the one. And that's the one we want. Now, how many pages do we want? I'm going to take this up to 60 pages because that's as far as it'll let us take it anyway. And then all we have to do is scroll down to the bottom and you see where it says submit. We just click on the word submit and then we just wait for it to do its thing. Now I'm going to pause the video until it's ready. Okay, we're back. Now as you can see it's ready, I'm just going to click on that. And that will open it up in a brand new tab. And this will allow us to see what we have. Now we have 121 pages. And did we do it single sided or double sided? We did it single sided, fantastic. Uh, sorry, double sided, we did it double sided. And as you can see, this does this. And if we take this down to about halfway, we'll find that we have come across solution pages. So we go up to about where the beginning of the solution pages are, which is here. And this is the solution page. Let's shrink this down so we have, can have a better look at what we're looking at here. So you can scroll down and you can have a look at the various solutions. And it gives you the words and it shows you the various solutions that we have here. And there it is. And this is something you can then upload onto Amazon KDP. And this way you can have it as a low content book. It's certainly not a no content book, it's a puzzle. So this will allow people to have at least 60 puzzles that they can work on, which means that they'll, it'll keep them going for a little while. And they also have the, if they get lazy and they don't have time to want to try and work it out or they get frustrated with it and they can't see all the solutions, then they have the option of checking the solutions at the back of the book. All right. That's all there is for this particular video. Now, I mentioned earlier about a $120 a year discount from for BookBall. So down below, I have a link and I'll also have my product code, which is product creation formula written as is. And if you click on that link, it'll take you to a download page where you have to just fill out some information then you can put the product code in the bottom of on the at the checkout section then once you've done that you can then pay for it and you get $120 discount instead of paying $199 a year it takes it down to $79.94 okay guys on that note thanks for watching I really appreciate it and this really is one of the only places you ever get that kind of discount and anyway so I will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now